All right, so here we go, step two. So I got everything painted in the dark green from the Rust-Oleum Camouflage Collection. That's not it. Um, next is gonna come khaki. And it's funny, because I looked at the polls last night and it said dark green. And it wasn't overwhelming, it was like by one or two votes. And I get on after I paint it dark green and it was a dead tie. So, sorry. <laughs> yes, you voted. I clearly didn't listen effectively. So it's going to be green. But your next color, since khaki technically won, will be the khaki color. Um, I'm only going to show you how I do one extra coat. And so how I use the soap and how I use the paint to establish my pattern. I'm not going to show you every little detail because it's so different every time you do it. And your, your results will vary so, so much differently than mine based on how you apply the soap. And so I'm going to... Get loud for a second here, just to be sure this is completely mixed up, which I had already done. I do want, I want to make sure. And I always do a, a test somewhere on, on the uh, plastic here, and these are just trash bags. So then, this part is super technical, so I need you to pay really close attention to this. It's a super, super technical. You ready? Just put the paint on. That or the uh, soap on. Strings of it, globs of it, whatever. And so remember, whatever you don't cover with soap right now is what will be tan. So I have very light coverage on here. I actually want to do more. And I am only doing one side of this at a time. So keep in mind also, I'm going to have to wash this out. So I'll squeeze it, sometimes I'll shake it, get globs of it on there, because that's how you get really cool patterns. Sorry about all the background noise, it did not close my garage, but it's okay. So, I don't know if I'm done yet. <laughs> the cool thing is if you cover too much, you can always go back and do it again. Uh, oh, I want to get more on the uh, handguard. It is not heavily done. And this is very messy. Keep that in mind. There. So I hope that does it justice. I hope you can see with the light. And excuse the noise. I am going to close that garage door because I think it'll help. Come here. Come here. Got to get the dog out of the way. So, um, I hope you can see that a little bit better now where it's shiny, all that good stuff. I know that's going to kind of mess up some of the light, but here we go. So I know you can see that now. So that's gonna be your beginning pattern. It is all kinda, of, for lack of a better term, all globed up right here on the emblem. But I think that's just going to add to how cool it looks. Let me do the uh, hand guard since I'm over here talking about it and I didn't touch it yet. And then I'll put one more small coat over it. Get good coverage. Get the front of the magwell. And that's where we are at this point. Um, from here, you'll let this dry the best you can. Um, you can wash it off between each coat. You flip it over, do the same thing. If you don't wash it off, there will be a buildup of paint, or I mean, of soap on the other side. It's not the end of the world, but you'll see the soap that's down here will start to build up. So I'll put boards or something underneath each end so that it disperses that color. Um, I'm sorry, disperses that soap and stuff like that. 
So we're going to have a lot of tan in here and you can see where the darker pieces are. That will be the dark green. It shows a little bit better over here because I do have more standing soap. It will, for instance, here where it's kind of runny, it will settle down on there and put splotches on there. Um, you can also say you got your dark brown. You can also go ahead and do a tiny bit now. And we'll see how it turns out. I mean, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like when I'm done. And I am actually not too terribly concerned with the barrel as it will be under and then turn it and like barely touch it. So it puts some speckles on it too. I like speckles. But that's how you do that. Um, and you just keep doing it to your desired effect or until you just don't feel like doing it anymore. Um, I'm not like the authority on uh, soap painting, but that gives you a good idea of what we've got going on here. And I will do a live video when it's done and show you the result after it's all put back together and all that jazz. And with that, we will see you guys very soon.